lot of you out there like to be prepared for power outage, or maybe you want to go camping and have some power, or maybe you're prepping and you're concerned in the times that we live. Definitely an SHTF type of era. Off-grid living, power outages, self-sustainability. It's my job to let you know about some of the latest gear out there that might help you out with some of your needs. So let's show you this newer power station that's hit the market. If you guys are brand new here, welcome to our awesome community where we do prepping tips, emergency preparedness how-tos, and we do some product reviews like this. That way you guys know how to prepare out there. Also, we give you awareness on new stuff that may affect you. If you happen to find value in that, be sure to hit the notification bell so you guys can stay up to date. Let's jump into this one. So let's talk about this new unit, fairly new on the market. It's a Jackery 1000 Pro. It's an upgraded version from what they used to have. And I have to say, it's a lot better. And look at those panels, guys. The bags that go around these panels are super awesome. And to boot, they have reflective backing on them. So you can strap them up all different ways and get a backside charge off of this. It's insane. I have to say, I'm really liking that. Now, before we get going, let me know down in the comments. Do you already have a solar generator or a power generator? Which one? What do you think about this one? And most importantly, why would you guys want to have one? What's your biggest reason? So you know with this Jackery 1000 Pro, it's going to be really easy to charge this thing up. There's three methods. You can wall charge this, a car charger, so on the go, as long as your car is running or you've got a full battery, you can always plug it into the cigarette adapter and charge it that way. Or like this, you can always use the sunlight in which we've got a lot of it at the moment. A couple things about portable power generators like this Jackery 1000 Pro is people like that it's zero emission. When we're charging it like this, we're talking about a zero cost with the sun. And unlike a traditional generator, fuel generator, you don't have the noise. This is really quiet. You don't have maintenance on an engine, spark plugs, fuel filters, all kinds of stuff. This is a plug and play system. One of the things that I really like about portable generators is that, like I said, they're quiet. You could put this thing in your living room, charge up or power your refrigerator. When the power goes out, you don't hear a thing. We got full sun, no clouds. Let's see how much power this thing is pulling in with those two panels and the backers. We got display, 103 watts right now. Um, I put this on here just Geez, not even a half an hour ago, and it was around, I think, 68, right around 70. So it's just cooking. We're in the sun, so that's why the screen's acting funky. On a side note, I asked you guys to put in the comments why you would even consider having one of these. What would be the purpose for you individually? As for me, I love the fact that they're portable. They can be fully charged. I can go somewhere where there is no power, where maybe I have a power tool and I wanna use it way down on the homestead. For those of you guys that have been following our channel since we started, you know that I've built our entire place with my hands. That's right, at one point, we had six kids in a camper on raw ground. We thought we were gonna have a house built, get into it within a year, that didn't happen. It took a year of permitting just because we were in wetlands next to a river. So you can imagine building a tiny house, building the outbuildings, building the decks, the house, the barn, power station. With only a temp pole, a power station came in handy a lot of times. In the past, I've used saws. I've used a lot of lithium powered batteries and I've almost switched all of my corded power tools over battery powered tools. I mean, not to endorse DeWalt or any other brands, but having these high powered batteries allows me to charge them with a portable generator like this Jackery, which also assists in an off-grid scenario, a camping scenario, a no power scenario, and in my case, most importantly, a power outage scenario. So for some of you out there that are new to the idea of power stations, you really like the idea of having power when you don't have power, what are some of the things that you could operate say this Jackery 1000 Pro in your daily life when you don't have other power source. So in a home backup situation, you could run with this unit a refrigerator, an average refrigerator for almost two hours. How about some of you out there that need medical equipment, like a CPAP. CPAP machine with this unit, you could recharge that thing 80 times. A coffee maker, everyone likes coffee. You can run a coffee maker for an hour and a half. You can watch TV when the power goes out, the rest of the neighborhood is lighting candles. You're watching TV on this bad boy 
for 13 hours. Let's say you need to warm up some food. Microwave oven, on average, about 1.2 hours. Here's a good one. A lot of times you need some air circulation, whether it's you're too hot with the heat or you're in a cold situation and you need to get the air moving of the warm air and get that warm air circulated through the house. This thing can run a fan for 17 hours. You need to do a little work or research on your laptop, it'll charge a laptop nine times. Or how about this, and on our channel, we've talked about power outages in the winter a lot and staying warm. Could be a life and death situation. You can run an average electric blanket for 14 hours. Like I said, that could be very important alone right there. Maybe you wanna run a small electric heater, 2.5 hours could make a big difference in a small space. Maybe you need to run a hair dryer to dry your hair in a camping scenario or just a power outage scenario or off grid. It can run a hair dryer for up to an hour. You're one of those people that like to use an Instapot. It can run an Instapot for almost an hour. If you wanna warm up some water with an electric kettle, you can run an electric kettle for about an hour. And like I said, guys, I've used portable power generators in all kinds of scenarios over the last four years. A lot of times I was out here at the barn when the barn didn't have any power and I'm vacuum sealing stuff, put in the freezer, salmon that we've caught, running our freeze dryer off portable power stations. We've ran the fridges off power stations many times. I live in an area where we get power outages with heavy snowfall, high winds, all kinds of reasons forest fires is a big one. We can easily get our power knocked out and we're a one way street. So having backup power in our scenario, it's such a sense of security. Okay, so taking a look at the front of this, super flat top, I love that because you can actually stack stuff on here. I've sat on this thing. So right over here, underneath this flap is the light, the little flashlight. The last model, it was over here and not near as bright. You've got a low setting, a higher setting, and then an SOS strobe. Very key to have, because if you actually had this in your camper or your car and you had an emergency, maybe at nighttime, you could put this out on your trunk or whatever outside, and this will flash and people will see this from a very far away. Over here, you've got your cigarette adapter input, DC 12 volt, 10 amp. Nice little flat flush plugs over those. Over here, you've got AC 120 volt, 1000 watt, pure sine wave. You've got three inputs over here. Right here, this button turns those on or you can turn it off. Over here, you can turn these on. You've got USB-A, 18 watt max, USB right here. And then down here, you've got USB-C ports, 100 watt max, which is bigger than the last one, which is a 3.0 quick charge, really nice. Again, this is made by Jackery, Jackery Explorer 1000 Pro, the new one. On the back, again, you see the DC input. You've got two right there for charging, and then over here you've got the AC 120 volt, 15 amp max for plugging it into your wall. And as many of you guys know, Jackery's been around. They're known for making a pretty good power station, solar power station. They're definitely one of the bigger names out there amongst the rest. And if you guys happen to want a little bit more information on this, again, the link is down in the description below. A lot of times they send a promo code to our audience only. So while shopping for the best portable power stations in 2023, definitely put this one on the watch list. More so on our channel, an emergency preparedness type individual, a readiness type person, an off-gridder or self-sustainability type person. Portable power station is definitely on the must-have list. And, and later in this year, as it gets closer to winter, I will definitely be pushing portable power stations because you guys need a way to keep the power on, when that harsh winter comes and nothing worse than losing power in a bad scenario and panicking and not knowing what to do, especially when you've been prepping up your fridge, freezer, and you don't want that stuff to go bad. So there we go, guys. One of the new portable power stations of 2023. Be sure to give this review a thumbs up if you guys found it valuable. And keep prepping, keep learning, keep doing. We'll see you guys on the next one.